I think people's perception about homelessness is um, somebody lying on the street, usually a man, um, somebody with an addiction of some sort, alcohol, drugs, or it's their fault. I was actually born in a very wealthy, um, my beginnings were a very wealthy family, but my dad um, had a problem with the business, his business fell. Miracles will happen as we dream. It's at the course. Well, we're never gonna survive. I've been hom homeless as well before and so I know that there were a whole series of things that led up to that event you know because life where I was before was worse and I, did, I just didn't want to be in that. I found my mother taking me to a temple and um, so I stayed there for a period of about six months. I was diagnosed with breast cancer and my partner at the time was under a lot of pressure, a lot of stress, and had a, a total meltdown. Um, he was hospitalized for three months in a psychiatric ward, so while going through cancer treatment, I was by myself. Yeah, you know, I was sleeping in, uh, in subways. I was hiding in subways because I had nowhere to sleep. I remember at one point walking through Cronulla at nighttime, no moon, it was totally dark, nothing in the sky, no one around. And I thought, oh my God, here I am. I don't even have a home. So we have all sorts of people walk through our doors and so many of the families in particular, also our women that come into Vincentian House, have had really traumatic experiences in their life. I didn't have to worry about food. I didn't have to worry about if I had clothes. They started to help me to find out what, what I needed to do to get toward finding a home and a job and taking care of the mess that was left. As a homeless service, one of the, the core elements is around providing safe, comfortable and very respectful accommodation and support for the people that enter our doors. Then having a really tailored, whole of person approach to the way that we support the clients that come to our services. Probably the single most desperate factor of being a youth today is the kind of, the, 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 the possibility of going through life without being heard or seen. No one wants to live and die in relative anonymity. Um, my daughter Ivy, she's an amazing young woman. I couldn't be more proud of her. Um, she, she's gone through that whole process of the domestic violence and the emotional abuse and the, the angry home. You know, sometimes it was so loud you couldn't think. But um, she, she was she was just as much of a support to me as I was to her. And now um, she's seen me go from being homeless to owning my own business and she's starting her own business. It was kind of like a jump, like I was 12, but it felt like I had to be maybe 16 or 17 or just kind of mature quickly to be able to get through that time. I would say she has inspired me to be entrepreneurial. Mostly because she's taken on her own business, which is the Fairlight Healing, the Spiritual Guidance. One of the things that we find most profound when people leave here is that they've rediscovered or discovered a belief in themselves that they are a valuable person and that they have things to offer others. It's through that experience I believe I've become more resilient. I remember attending a seminar, a business seminar, a room filled with about 300 people and the speaker was asking all of us to rate ourselves, what is your resilience caution? Without hesitation, I said 10 out of 10. The CEO Sleep Hat's a really significant event for our service and for homeless services because obviously the funds raised through the Sleep Out helps us to enhance and to provide a range of services that we otherwise may not be able to. Telling your other CEO colleagues telling business leaders about homelessness issue 
in Australia. It's not just about a one night only event, it's about those relationships and those connections. Even if you're not able to raise $100,000, it doesn't matter, it's raising the awareness. The, the real difference between being homeless and not being homeless, I think, is, is you have to somehow try and visualise. But I was helped at a very critical point and because I'm not left out on the streets, which would otherwise have changed my fate completely, I was able to move on to become a, what I believe a useful contributing individual in society. And I believe that Venice, through what it, it does in terms of homeless services, uh, is doing that. Thank you to all the CEOs across Australia that took part in the Vinnie's CEO Sleepout. You're making a huge difference, as you will see with people like John. I understand that you raised uh, $2.5 million last year. And, well, uh, rumour has it that we're, all the guys here are hoping to raise five. And so uh, if you think that you, the work that you're doing isn't really making a difference, it, it really is.